Hi, I'm Leather Rock. Welcome to my channel. And I am now in front of the ocean. So, Fish just got done playing day two of the concert of their three day nights, rather, here in Atlantic City. And I would like to talk about some of the things I'm observing with respect to, okay, let's get the security aspect out of the way right away. They have some real scumbag security guys that they have hired for this fish thing. Uh, you know, there's something to be said for when I'm minding my own business, walking down the boardwalk between, say, Bally's Wild Wild West in the direction of, say, New York Avenue. And uh, so this guy approaches me and he says, can I talk to you for a minute? And I don't know what the fuck he would have wanted to speak to me for. I didn't do anything wrong. And so I wasn't under arrest or anything like that. So I kind of booked really as quickly as I could. And you know, it's really hard to maneuver through a crowd. You don't go straight. You kind of zigzag. And what I was looking for was, since I am a YouTuber after all, I was looking for a quiet enough place where I could hear the music from Fish without the bleed through music from the businesses on the boardwalk. You have all these, uh, restaurants and then of course you have the casinos and whatever their clubs are and those sounds competing with the music I wanted to only get the music from the concert so I finally figured I found a place and so I started filming it and then that very security guard who had been wanting to talk to me he said can I speak to you and while I was filming he told me that his birthday was coming up and he was renting a room and he wanted a girl. So in other words, this guy wanted a prostitute and he took a look at me and there he is working, wearing his uniform, he's supposed to be a security guard. I don't think part of the definition of being a security guard is trying to find your own personal hooker. I mean, maybe times have changed, but I'm sorry. I know this shouldn't reflect on Fish or on whoever it is that's uh, putting on these concerts, but it was really disgusting. Is this how they're supposed to treat either um, concert goers or locals or really any human being? Is there some reason why you have to do that? Oh, and by the way, just so you know, this dress that I'm wearing is the first time I've worn anything other than black since Cassie died. You know, I started wearing black when a friend of mine died of COVID, and I was probably just starting to get back into the colors which are my preference, but then when Cassie died, you know. Um, but yeah, getting back to the security guard thing, it's an another thing that I noticed in addition to that they must have been really been indiscriminate who they hired. Um, they are hiring these overly zealous guards that would uh, be stay stationed at one of the named streets and would not even let a person stand within five feet of that roped off entrance to listen to the music or anything. And then when I tried to ask this one woman in particular if she would give me a straight answer as to just how close we were allowed to be, because that's ridiculous. Every place people hang out on the outside and they hear whatever sounds you can hear from outside. These people acting like Gestapos, that's kind of really not necessary. And especially considering that this is a resort town and uh, you have families here and you have all different kinds of people, you know, for them to be like that, that is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I did happen to find a place just out of reach of security ultimately, but uh, it necessitating like getting sand in my socks and that kind of suck itself. But okay, uh, let's check on the litter since uh, we're talking about things going on here. So I, I really, sorry about that. I really think that they could have done a better job in screening their security and training their guards. Isn't the ocean pretty? Here, let's take a moment to take a look at it. Uh, I really think that, and I don't know how you screen somebody for uh, sexually predatory behavior if that's what this falls under the umbrella of you know i would think that a woman has a right to be able to walk around safely and not be harassed and i don't know what 
part of my hippie ensemble screams lady of the evening but that kind of stuff has to stop and that's one of the things that I frankly find really distasteful about Atlantic City. From the time I was 11 I had dirtball males coming up to me with uh, illicit intent and getting the wrong idea. Here, let's see. This is the direction of the big wheel, which is at Steel Pier. And I gotta get walk really fast because if anything of that copyrighted thing gets in here, I will get my, I could get a copyright strike, or at the very least, they'll notice that there's copyrighted material, and then this, can, this video can never get monetized in the future. So, okay. Now you see that that says hard rock up there. That's the direction that we're going. So, I would like to show you some of the litter from the balloons, but I guess that's going to have to be for another video, since I really kind of wanted to focus on security. Uh, oh yeah, another thing, they weren't too cool about letting people loiter near the entrance, hi, near the entrances uh, of the beach, near where the stage was, like say you were walking around on the boardwalk two, three o'clock in the morning, just because there is a very vibrant social scene, if you didn't know. In the summers here, when it's really warm out and stuff. Okay, I don't want you to hear that music that's going on here. So, yeah, the security, really, I think, are kind of dicks here at the fish show. All right, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like me. Like, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you in a couple of days. Bye.